My name is Caitlin Haley Dworka, and I humbly serve as the 50th Miss Lincoln University of Pennsylvania. And I want to meet you in Baltimore, where February is CIAA. February is Langston Hughes, the American poet and social activist. February is also Kwame Nkrumah, the first prime minister and president of Ghana. February is Thurgood Marshall, the first black Supreme Court justice. Black history when it comes to HBCUs contributing to the CIAA are so important because of those trailblazing voices. Just like how historically black colleges and universities were created for a safe haven for African American students, the same goes hand in hand with the CIAAs. If there were no trailblazing people, there would be no HBCUs and no CIAA. How has the CIAA impacted black history? The Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association was founded in 1912 as one of the oldest athletic divisions created for African Americans attending historically black colleges and universities. As we celebrate Black History Month, we look back at Lincoln University's establishment in 1854 as the first degree granting HBC created for African American students who were not allowed to study at predominantly white institutions. Similar to the Central Intercollegiate Athletic Association, created for African Americans who studied at HBCUs who could not have the opportunity to play athletically at predominantly white institutions.